Okay, what's poppin' y'all? Today, we are going to be talking about the Birkenstock Boston. And just to start it all off, I just wanna give a quick shout out to my brother. He's been, he's been on these Bostons for such a long time. He, he was wearing the regular ones that everyone is wearing now before, like way long time ago. He was wearing the Birkenstock Rick Owens uh, clog. You know, he's just been on top of this. So I want to give a quick shout out to him. And yeah, guys. So basically this Boston clog has been insane. Like it, it, I don't understand like why it's gotten so famous. Like when I got these two years ago, they were literally not famous at all. It was literally just, I was just copping a pair of Birkenstocks just, just because, you know, and everyone used to wear the two strap, the classic, I think it's called the Arizona. The, everyone was wearing those for the longest time, whether it was in the suede or the oiled leather. Um, and I wanted to do something different two years back and I wanted to get the Boston. And my brother was like, dude, these are so classic. You can wear them with anything. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get the Birkenstock Boston. And to be honest, this is literally it's kind of funny to say, but it's literally like my most worn shoe or whatever you call this sandal clog. It's literally my go-to in all situations, literally. I mean, other than like dinners and stuff when it's like, when you're trying to be fancy, you know, when you're trying to step out, you feel me? But literally you can wear these with anything. So let me like put them up on the screen for you. Okay. So let me just tell you, okay, yeah, so they're pretty beat up, you know what I mean? Uh, as you can tell with this color, but to be honest, I haven't seen anyone do a video with like their Bir the, the Boston clogs like already messed up. So I think this is like pretty cool that like I'm showing y'all like what it looks like two years in because everyone shows them like brand new because they're, they like it's they're all copping them now, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is what they look like. Well, let me just show one. So this is what they look like. This is in the taupe colorway. When I bought them, obviously, like, look at all the, like, low-key the distressing on these is, like, insane. Okay, I don't know why it's not, I don't know why it's not zooming, but you can kind of see it's very, very distressed up here. And yeah, like this is supposed to be suede on the inside. It's not suede anymore. You can kind of see the reflection of what it says on the inside, like the soft footbed, the sizing and stuff. It's in blue. And then, yeah, this was all suede. Now it's all just like, you know, just matted down, obviously. And it looks like just oiled up leather, basically. But yeah, this is what they look like. The taupe, what the taupe looks like distressed you'll probably look like this it'll probably look like this like a year in probably even months in to be honest i've worn these anything i wore these to tennis practice after tennis practice i wore these <laughs> warming up playing tennis i've worn these to golf out to dinner to the gas station to the store just ca coffee shops anything they literally are the go-to and um i'm just rambling now but yeah this is what they look like in the taupe colorway this is the other side just so you can get like the other side it's kind of like going down but you can kind of see look at they're all messed up in the back that's how all of them will get with wear but yeah y'all i feel like they look the best like beat up like this like wow it is insane how like beat up these are, but yeah, it's got the, uh, the EVA, uh, outsole right here. It's got the cork for the cushioning. Obviously, as you can see here, my cork is all messed up, but you can kind of get the point. And it's obviously all like messed up here. Cause I've been wearing them for so long. I'm about to get a new one actually. And then it's supposed to have the suede footbed, but obviously since it's all matted down, it's just like almost oiled leather, but that's what this will look like, like literally a few months in. And then like all the sizing and stuff 
info is in here. And yeah, I mean, that, that's just pretty basic. I mean, uh, they run true size, obviously, or not obviously. The, you can pick between a narrow or wide footbed I or regular. I'm pretty sure there's regular. These are literally regular, I think. They fit pretty standard throughout, to be honest. If you're going to be wearing socks, though, with these, uh, I would definitely recommend trying them on in store with the sock on. So you can kind of adjust, you know, you can kind of feel out whether or not you want um, to wear socks. And then, you know, it won't be it won't be too uh, small if you try to put on a pair of socks because you tried them on in store. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. So, yeah, try them on with socks. If you're going to wear socks, if you're not, then just try them on. But if you don't try them on, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Because in my case, I literally just ordered them straight up online. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. Go to Birkenstock.com to order these. Or try to go to a retailer that stocks them. But since they're pretty hyped up now, I don't know if you're going to be able to like actually find them in store. So yeah, I would just recommend ordering them online, Birkenstock.com. And ordering your true to size. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, they run lengthwise, true to size nothing too special here they fit just like a regular Birkenstock to be honest um I really so now obviously I I really wanted to talk about how I style this um so I haven't I don't really feel like going outside right now so I might tack on a little bit of footage later on of me going outside and trying on all this stuff but you can kind of get like a gist of what i'm saying so i generally like to wear uh an oversized tee on top whether or not oversized vintage tee vintage black tee doesn't really matter i usually just tend to wear oversized things or I tend to wear, not graphic tees, because I don't really wear graphic tees like that. I just tend to wear a black t-shirt. Black is literally, like, my favorite color to wear. As you can see, like, in most of my videos, I'm literally wearing black. So I literally usually just wear that. Usually wear a snapback, trucker hat, always. But you don't need to do that. I'm just going through what I usually do. So yeah, just a general t-shirt. Uh, I tend to like them oversized. And then... Since I don't wear these with socks, I tend to wear them with shorter shorts and then literally just the, the, the Boston. You know what I mean? Like, because I really feel like you have the oversized t-shirt, which lays over like the five inch shorts and then like the Boston without the socks. I feel like that's such a clean look. I love wearing them without socks because that is actually how you break in the footbed because Birkenstocks are really, they're, they're made to be worn barefoot not with socks but i've worn them with socks so many times uh after practice and all that stuff so yeah i mean i literally when i got these actually i was wearing them with socks after tennis practice so yeah i mean these are some of the shorts for example that i wore with them these are crazy shorts um on my instagram j underscore shuby i'd be wearing these a ton let me like scoot back. Shout out Mike. Uh, these are Stevenson Ranch camo shorts. Wear those. I hike these up to like five inches, four inches. Um, another example of a pair of shorts that I wear with them. Uh, we got the the GDs, the gallery departments, the Zumas. Those are about five inches. And then another pair of shorts that I have, the Zach Dillon. Shout out to you, Zach. These are some of my favorite sweat shorts. Zach Dillon NY. Instant classic pair of shorts. Uh, especially, I mean, I can't really find a pair of five inch sweat shorts that literally fit perfectly. And those are them right there. Zach Dillon sweat shorts. Insane. And the way that just the oversized shirt with the short shorts and the Birkenstock Bostons out with without the socks for me, it just flows so perfectly. I think I've like, I mean, I have tons of shirts and shorts to like uh, wear 
like interchange with these shoes or clogs that it's just never ending. Um, and yeah, y'all, I literally have a, a pair of like sweatpants actually that I wanted to show y'all or show y'all. Uh, okay. So also it's like kind of athleisure, kind of what I do just for whatever, like if I'm going out to Chipotle or whatever, I'll wear these like basically like sweatpants used for like running and stuff. Adidas sweatpants. Just plain gray. I'll literally wear those, you know, fold the top and literally just wear them with the Boston's. I think it's so fire. Um, yeah, these are basically like kind of joggers low key, but they're for running. And it gives like a little like athleisure vibe, you feel me? Like I'll wear like the Lululemon like women's scuba like half zip. I hella I hella mess with those. Um and then I obviously get like an XL double XL because they fit so small. And then wear the wear this and the Birkenstocks flow so good. And yeah, I mean you can wear any hoodie with it. You can wear this hoodie, any of these. I tend to not wear like brown because then it's like matching low key. It's like a blue, a white hoodie. So yeah, you can literally wear anything with them. That's literally the point of it. And so that's why I didn't like pick out like specific fits. I'm just like telling you like the general gist of like what I wear so you guys can get like some ideas. You know what I mean? And, but I really wanted to show you all these sweatpants. Um, okay, so I recommend wearing like a white pair of sweatpants with like the brown because I feel like it goes so well, like insanely, like it goes so well. These sweatpants that I have are made by uh, Saturdays in New York City. Let me try to get it on the camera. Saturdays in New York City. These are an insane pair of sweatpants, insane. I would def definitely recommend this brand to all y'all. But yeah, guys, I mean, this is literally, I've, I've kind of been putting off this video for a long time. My brother told me to make this video like a way long time ago, and I pushed it off way too far. So yeah, guys, sorry for my messed up Birkenstocks, but you know, I think it's cool that they're broken and you can kind of see like what they look like instead of like the traditional like brand new pair that people are showing in the videos. So yeah, guys, this is the review of the Birkenstock Boston Taupe. And yeah, I feel like this is a very good clog to wear out anywhere. It's very sophisticated. Kind of gives almost like a, I don't know, like a, a beachy, like island type feel, like in Greece. I don't know. Like it just gives me like, like Europe vibes or something. I don't know. Love it, it adds spice to every outfit. Uh, never go wrong, literally you can wear it after soccer practice, after tennis practice, literally after any of your practices and it instantly like, it's like, oh, like you have the Birkenstock Bostons. Like, I don't know, I just think they're super sick. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will try to get as many videos out to y'all. I know I've been saying that, but it's just really tough right now. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to y'all soon. Make sure you leave any comments down below sizing what y'all thought of them. If you like them, just anything, clothing, idea, clothing ideas, anything. Okay, y'all, peace, much love.